Elder Stevenson began his talk by reminding us of all the wonderful gifts and talents people have on the earth. He said, quote, We marvel at performers in numerous sports and other disciplines who achieve the highest level of their art. We speak of their God-given talents or gifts. This includes those gifted in dance, gymnastics, music, art, drama, mathematics, science, and more. Each such person demonstrates God-given gifts that are then refined and honed by a lifetime of hard work, study, and practice. God-given gifts make gifted people." Unquote. He then shared this insight, quote, Looking through a gospel lens, God endows his children with many spiritual gifts, making them spiritually gifted people. The constant companionship of the Holy Ghost is one of the greatest spiritual gifts Latter-day Saints enjoy. How important is this gift? President Russell M. Nelson answered this question when he stated that in coming days, it will not be possible to survive spiritually without the guiding, directing, comforting, and constant influence of the Holy Ghost." Unquote. Elder Stevenson shared four guiding principles that can help us invite and recognize promptings of the Holy Spirit. 1. Stand in holy places. 2. Stand with holy people. 3. Testify of holy truths. And 4. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Elder Stevenson concluded with this wonderful invitation, quote, Many of you start your day by standing in front of a mirror. Tomorrow, this week, this year, always pause as you look at yourself in the mirror. Think to yourself or say aloud if you like, Wow, look at me. I am awesome. I am a child of God. He knows me. He loves me. I am gifted, gifted with the Holy Ghost as my constant companion." Unquote. Thanks for watching. I'm a member of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Something special happens every six months in our church. It is a worldwide conference where we hear our beloved prophets speak, as well as the 12 apostles and many other wonderful church leaders. We gather in person or through internet and other forms of communication. We receive over eight hours of Christ-centered messages.